Hi, and welcome to day three of the Stock Photo 101 video e-course. Today, I'll be covering how to find subjects to photograph. Now, when it comes to finding subjects to photograph, most people simply go outside and find things to shoot. You know, like, today I'm going to take pictures, so you go outside and just, just look around and take things that you see. It sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Well, not really for stock photos. Doing this can get you to have a lot of different pictures, and it may seem like a really profitable way to build your photo collection, but I'm going to tell you a way that is a lot better to take, take stock photos. You see, when taking stock photos, try building collections. For example, build a stock photo collection of a certain type of flower, then build a stock photo collection of evergreen trees, and then maybe shoes, and I don't know, just keep building stock photos of certain specific things. When thinking of subjects to photograph, what you should do is actually think of what you want your image to say. So here's an example. You could have your photo say relaxation at the beach, or it could say enjoyment of success, or a happy person. See, after you have these, what you want your photo to say, then just go out and execute what you want to say. If you want to say enjoyment of success, think of ways that you can show this in an image. What is a symbol for success? Think about that. When I think of success, I think of money, being in a suit and tie, and smiling. So use these symbols for success in your photos. Maybe take a picture of a man in a suit. There's, there's a lot of different photos you could take with that. Then take some variation of this and maybe have a woman in the business suit. Then use different symbols for money and just build a collection of this, of, of the thing that you want to say, enjoyment of success, but using different symbols and such. See, when you start getting ideas for your photos, more ideas will actually come from these original ideas. See, people with ideas tend to have more ideas, and people without ideas tend to not get new ideas. So if, you have, if you're having trouble getting those first ideas just work through it because after that first idea, it'll be really easy for you to like continue getting more ideas. Before closing for the day, let me just tell you one thing that many beginning stock photo photographers do. I used to do this too. We hear a lot of things in photography. Maybe we hear that dog photos are selling or money photos are selling like crazy. But I really don't think you should follow this kind of advice. This can make for heavy competition and your images may never even get seen by anybody. Like when I used to do this, like take pictures of what was popular and getting sold a lot in stock photos, my photos would usually end up on like the 10th page, which is not going to get me anybody that is going to see my images. So if you're going to be taking pictures of popular subjects, be sure to be different or try to cover areas of that subject that are missing in your stock photos. Okay, so I've, I've covered a pretty good amount of stuff today. So your homework for today is to start brainstorming some ideas of what you want to say in your stock photos. Then think about symbols that you want to use to represent what you want to say. Once you got that, then go, then go take some pictures. Tomorrow I'll be covering how to photograph models.